I lost my dad at an early age. Um, he was killed in a car accident when I was 14. And there was a lot of feelings as an artist that I had. Um, I grew up in a prominently manly household and it was uh, sports were the, the way things were. So digging through and exploring your feelings wasn't really on the forefront of everybody's mindset. And um, I went through my high school years, a very angry individual, very upset. And um, I just thought that that's the way it, things were, you know. And as I got older, um, a lot of these things came to the surface. A lot of these uh, things that I hadn't dealt with came to the surface. Um, the band was living in LA at the time. And, um, and I had lived with the guys since I had moved out there. And we all been very close. And uh, I started to get really, um, let's say, I got, se I, I was separating myself from the people that I loved because I was depressed and I was upset with myself. And um, my confidence was very low. And I was just having a very hard time um, uh, dealing with some of the things that I had buried for years. At, and um, so I ended up um, in this weird situation where I decided to move out of the house of the guys. I moved downtown by myself into this one bedroom place. And, um, and I, and I would, uh, uh literally drink a, a bottle of vodka a night. And, um, and I, I would drink until I'd fall asleep. I remember going up to the, the top of my building and, um, stepping to, it was one of the only buildings in LA that you could go on the top. And I would toe the edge every night and know that um, all it takes is a jump. All it takes is a jump and I get to leave and I get to be out of this. I get to be done um, with this life and with this pain and with this, uh, these horrible feelings. I'll admit um, I, I deal with depression and anxiety. Um, I, I'm not going to say all the time, but... These are human emotions. These are things that happen with people. Um, and, and I have to be really, really clear. Um, I use exercise and meditation um, to help myself out of these things. Um, and these, I, I'll call them a funk or a, a little spell. Um, these are all natural human emotions. It's, you're not different. You're not strange. I mean, I was heartbroken to hear about Chester and, um, and Chris Cornell. Um, I was heartbroken to know that they felt like they didn't have a way out, that the only way that they had was leaving. You can look at it however you want. When you're in that moment and you can't breathe and you can't move and you don't wanna leave the house and you don't wanna to talk to anybody and you don't know how to, um, tell people uh, you don't know how to explain that you just couldn't make it through that day because, um, because of how anxious or how uh, awful you felt about yourself. There's no way to explain that. But I'm here as a person that is alive today that combats these things, these natural human emotions with proactive, positive choices. And, um, and you can find them anywhere. So if you're suffering from depression, if you're suffering from, from anxiety, find someone that knows something about meditation. Find some, someone that knows something about exercise that you can start doing today because these are proactive things that are going to help you through that time. There are ways out. There are ways out without getting drunk. There's ways out without popping pills. There's ways out without um, things that cause horrible side effects to us psychologically, uh, mentally, and physically. And um, it's just about finding your own way through that. I feel like we're a part of a generation that we have a problem, we have an ailment, we take a pill, and that pill causes another side effect, so we take another pill, and it's all this added up thing, and we're not learning how to deal with anxiety. Um, and uh, anxiety then creates depression and, and, you, and you get in an awful cycle of these feelings. Suicide doesn't enter my mind anymore because um, 
that not, I don't feel like it's a selfish thing. I don't it, see it as that. I just, I understand every single morning that I wake up that I'm here for something bigger and I'm here for something uh, better than leaving before my time. Um, and I even make deals with the universe all the time um, because I have fears just like every other human. I have fears walking out the door every single day and, um, and I make deals with the universe to say, just keep me around, keep me around until I'm 94. Keep me around until 94. I'm going to have something to do every single day, I promise. I'm going to be proactive and I'm going to help people. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help people. Just keep me around. You matter, you're needed, and you rock.